Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I've been doing this a long time, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. I got into this through writing music. I still write music, super passionate about it. I have some new music coming out, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you like some of my other stuff. Um, but moving forward, today we have the brand new version of Audacity 2.4.1. And why is this important and why would we want to upgrade? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, so just prior to us going into this, I want to say big shout out to the entire Audacity team. They have done an incredible job. Incredible. Um, there was a bug in the 2.4.0 version and they caught that super fast, super fast, fixed it, then released the 2.4.1 version. So big shout out to Arturo, James Crook. Roger Dannenberg, Steve Dalton, uh, Greg, Paul, Leland, Peter Sampson, awesome dude. Um, Bill, thank you guys so much. You really, really provide us with amazing professional-grade software. So, what is new? So, there's a bunch of new stuff in here. And I'm going to focus mostly on what you will be using the most. What's going to benefit you the most, widely. Um, so we'll run through some of these things and then I'll go into Audacity and actually show you uh, what they're talking about. We now have the ability to view both wave and spectrograms at the same time. Really cool stuff. However, that is very advanced. So, you know, if you're not super familiar with frequency and hurt and really, really have a strong understanding of that, uh, I do not recommend using the spectrogram. Uh, and widely, you know, if you're, if you're following my tutorials, uh, likely, you know, that's, that's going to be, you know, a couple steps away from you. So we'll go over that another time. Uh, the Opus export, you know, that's a different file type. So, I mean, look at all these file types that they've given us to export in the first place. And then they went ahead and added the Opus. So if you ever need that file, uh, in particular, you now have the ability to export in that, um, in that file type, which is awesome. Um, the things that I want to focus on the most are going to be, we now have loudness normalization. I'll tell you what that is. Measure RMS. Now, measuring RMS is a part of the ACX check tool. And, you know, typically you're not going to have to measure RMS unless you're submitting to ACX. So at that level, you know, you would probably just use the ACX tool. Um, but that's also really cool to have. But here's a big one, really, really big one. And this is going to be so, so helpful to so many people, a noise gate. They've added a killer noise gate. And we're going to go through and talk about how that works. They've done some bug fixes. This noise gate and loudness normalization, in my opinion, two of the biggest additions. So let's go in here and I'm just going to create a quick recording uh, just so we have some sound waves to play with. And I'm going to purposefully breathe. <sighs> I know it's a little weird, but uh, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to create some breaths so that I can give you an example of the noise gate. <sighs> Strange, I know. And often you're probably not going to be breathing that heavily. Uh, unless you're doing like erotica audiobooks or something. <laughs> but um, anyway, I just wanted to create some breaths so we can play with the noise gate. Okay, <laughs> let's see here. Now, I'm going to create a new recording. So the breaths aren't so crazy aggressive. So, you know, I'm just going to talk normally and, you know, you know, just kind of do some regular breathing. Well, it's not regular, but I'm trying to create some breaths for us. Um, and, you know, you know, just kind of, there we go. All right. You know, like normally, and I'll turn that up normally. And, you know, you know, just kind of, all right, cool. So you get the idea there and you can hear that normally. And, you know, right. Okay, so let's double click this track. Let's apply that noise gate. And chances are it's going to get rid of that stuff and just scrub it right out for us. Okay, so 
the threshold is the level that things need to be above in order to pass through. So as long as, you know, and I think it's uh, probably set to 40, um, I've got it set to 30 here, but we'll start at 40. And so basically anything above negative 40 decibels right now will be passing through the noise gate. Anything that is below that will be reduced by what I set to negative 40 dB. Um, so let's apply this and see how it works. Now, the attack decay, you don't want to mess with that too much. And you'll find that if you have it too long, um, it's not going to do a lot. And if you have it too short, it's going to start eating at the actual audio uh, that you want to keep and you don't want to manipulate. So, um, you know, keep that attack and decay, you know, right here at about 250. So let's apply this. All right, let's have a listen back. I'm going to talk normally and, you know, you know, just kind of amazing. I'm going to undo that. And, you know, and we'll redo that. Normally. And, you know, look you at know, that. Just kind of amazing. Look at that. Just cleaned it right up for us. Amazing. And this is super helpful because when we apply our compression and stuff like that, the compression deals with the dynamic range. And that means dealing with the quiet parts and the loud parts. And when we apply compression, it will blow up breaths and stuff like that. So if we can clean that up with the noise gate and stuff like that prior to applying compression, it is super, super helpful to us. So, you know, without, you know, you get the idea. Let's do it one more time. I'm going to undo that. And, you know, and I'm going to turn that up so we can have a great listen. And, you know, right. And we're going to redo that noise gate. Okay, noise gate. Boom. Okay. And listen back family and you know amazing like seriously that's amazing and when you have a large chunks of audio like podcasts audiobooks a long narration of any sort this is going to be gold for you gold um i will also create i'm going to undo that i'm going to create a duplicate track just so i can show you a couple other functions and features that they've added and and i'm going to reapply that noise gate because i'm going to do a side by side again because that's a pretty incredible tool that they've given us okay now they have added the ability i'm going to unmute this so let's say that you have multiple tracks you're recording music or you're doing a podcast you have a guest and of course we can label these tracks but what we can also do now is change the wave colors. So let's say you had you were recording a song and you have the chorus and you have the verse. And now we can just change the colors and say, okay, well, my verse is green and my chorus is going to be black. And so now we don't have to actually, you know, like listen to it. We know exactly what is what prior to even touching the track. Okay, green is me and black is my guest on, on my podcast. Green is my verse, black is my chorus. You know, uh, that's awesome. We get to change these colors. If you like red, you can pick red. If you like the blue, pick the blue. But we have the ability to change these colors. And even if you just wanted the color to be changed because you think it looks better or whatever, still pretty cool. Um, I want to talk about loudness normalization. And before I do that, talk normally, talk normally, and, you know, all those breaths, talk normally, and, you know, thanks, noise gate, appreciate it, um, and you're welcome.
because this is going to be helpful to you. All right, so loudness normalization, what is that? So basically, uh, it is very useful when you have uh, a long playlist of music and what loudness normalization would do is it would average out a long piece of audio. And you know how sometimes when you change songs, one song will be at a great level in your headphones or in your car. And then sometimes it changes songs on the playlist and the next song is like super loud or way more quiet. Now what loudness normalization would do is it would bring all of those different songs and their dynamic ranges and make them equal. So the perceived loudness stays the same. There's a lot of uh, congruence. So loudness normalization is great for congruence. And I will go ahead and just regularly, I'll unmute this so we can look at the waves, but I will do a regular normalization on the green and we'll do that to the industry standard of, you know, negative three. And we'll do a loudness normalization here. And you're going to find that the loudness normalization is not going to be as prominent. It's not going to be as, as actually loud in, as in measured in dBs. But the perceived loudness will be similar. So you can already tell that it did not blow up as big as regular normalization would. And loudness normalization will be more useful to you if you have really long playlists um, of music, but it's also relevant if you're doing, uh, if you have certain specifications that need to be met for a client for television commercials or stuff like that. Um, they have very strict guidelines as to how loud commercials can be and stuff like that. Um, so that's how loudness normalization could benefit you. Um, but, you know, you may not have to use it unless you're doing a long playlist um, or you have certain specifications that need to be met. So let's do a side-by-side -side and see if we can actually hear a difference here. But, uh, you know, it just dawned on me that this track at the bottom has all the breaths. So I'm actually going to undo the loudness normalization, undo the regular normalization. I'm going to just create an exact duplication of the same track so that, you know, there's no breath in there, um, you know, and it's the exact same. So we'll do the normalization on the top and we'll do the loudness normalization on the one directly below. Normalized to negative three and loudness normalization. Okay. So let's have a play. So, you know, I'm just going to talk normally and, you know, okay. So, you know, I'm just going to talk normally and, okay. So regular normalization. So, you know, I'm just going to talk normally loudness normalization. So, you know, I'm just going to talk normally, not as actually loud. Once again, will be relevant to you. If you have client with certain specifications for television commercials, or if you're doing a long playlist of music, it will make that far more congruent. Um, so anyway, those are some of the biggest things that will help you the most in the new version of audacity. Um, really, really cool stuff. And if you're not finding this in the new version, just make sure you go to effect, go to add, remove plugins, click right here on disabled, and it will show you the list of all of the disabled plugins. So go ahead and find them and enable them. And the noise gate is going to help you a ton. The colored waveforms, very useful, especially if you have a ton of tracks. Um, a ton of takes, you have guests, you're doing a song, it is super helpful. Um, loudness normalization, really awesome tool to have. The RMS, fantastic. It's already part of the ACX check. So if you're doing ACX, you know, clearly you don't want to just measure the RMS. You, you're going to want to do 
the ACX check. Um, but that's a really cool feature to have. But the biggest one, in my opinion, is that noise gate. And you heard the difference. You heard the difference. Um, we'll do one last side-by-side -side of that noise gate. Really crazy. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, this stuff was made free to us by the Audacity team. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want to say good for you all for watching these videos, for bettering yourself. This is not about you. It's not about me. It's not about them. It's about us, the creative community, growing, learning. And if we're not growing, we're dying. So I applied the um, noise gate. We're going to do no noise gate here normally. And, you know, and with noise gate normally. And, you know, you get the point. Really cool stuff. Download the new version. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you're looking for private help, I can certainly help you. Feel free to reach out. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive, and I'll